Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Lineage OS 23 based on Android 16 and this is an official version of Lineage OS for this device and I have been using this ROM few days now. It is working pretty well but it got few issues. So as you can see here, Android 16, Lineage OS 23 and the security patch level is October 1st, 2025. The UI is pretty much similar to OSP based Android ROM, nothing new here or you are not getting much customization option here. It is a pretty bare bone ROM, so if you like customization and other things, you can absolutely ignore this ROM. The control panel is pretty much similar to Android 15 based ROM, they didn't update the control panel yet, maybe in the future build. But I haven't faced any issue regarding control panel, it is working well. In terms of network connectivity, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, BoLT, Bo Wi-Fi, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. I did try them. They are working fine. In that section, we are not getting any kind of app lock or clone apps option as you can see. The typical settings are available. Notification, pretty much similar. Sound and vibration, working perfectly fine, no issue. And we are not getting any kind of Dolby Atmos or Parade volume control option. As you can see here, modes option available. In the display section, we do get adaptive brightness, which is working. And we do get double tap to work and double tap to sleep. So double tap to sleep and double tap to work. Both of them perfectly working fine. And we are not getting much here. In the wallpaper and style section, we are not getting any kind of clock option here. All the single clock available. And in the change wallpaper option, we do get few wallpapers. As you can see here. And we do get icon option and font option. In the more lock screen setting, we are not getting any kind of AOD option here. Storage. By default, Android 16 based ROM takes up to 15 GB of storage. As you can see here, Android 16 and the files and everything, total 15 GB of storage. And I did install few apps here. Battery. So the battery is doing pretty well here. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. It is working perfectly fine. No issue at all. And then we do get charging control option as you can see here. Like you can schedule and you can limit the charging. And we are also getting battery information which is not really reliable but it is available. In the system setting, we do get few options here for customization. Like in the status bar option, we do get quick pull down, system icon, clock position, battery status style and battery percentage so these are the few customization options we are getting with this ROM and that's all what you are getting here in terms of security and privacy we do get both face and fingerprint unlock and they are working well and you can see here no issue and as Android 15 or 16 based ROM we do get private space and advanced protection as you can see here, device protection and everything available. In the more security and privacy option, we do get extended unlock, theft protection, and no app lock option here too. Location is working perfectly fine. And that's all what you are getting with this from nothing much. In terms of application, we are not getting any kind of GFs built off Lineage OS. So if you flush this ROM, you have to flush GFs separately. And as per default apps, we do get a camera application here which it does provide lens support so you can choose the lens and also micro lens and the ultra wide lens so everything seems to be working fine here and if you want to install gcam you can install gcam which is also working no issue at all but sometime if you record videos you might face issue like it will show that video is recording but when you will check after recording the video will not be saved this issue i have faced with this rom and let me show you something here so i did record a whole video of unboxing this device poco m7 pro 5g as you can see here i don't really have the video footage because for some reason it did not save the file so you can face this issue so if you are recording video check this thing and other things like in terms of phone call, Bo LT, Bo Wi-Fi and video call option working but there is no call recording option so that is not available. And in the Google Photos, we are not getting any kind of unlimited storage 
and if we try the magic editor it should work and it is working in terms of safety net we are not getting any kind of safety net option here so bank apps and payment application not going to work as you can see here device is not certified it will ask to relock the bootloader as you can see here but chat gpt is working as you can see here chat gpt is working well no issue in terms of other application we do get music application here and recorder and everything but no circuit to search that is not available for audio file we do get audio effects here so you can customize the eq but no dolby atmos option and in terms of gaming the gaming performance is as expected i haven't faced any issue actually regarding game the gaming performance was quite smooth and no issue at all so if you are using any other rom you're going to get similar type of performance here too one thing which is good about this rom as it is a osp based rom there is no customization or any kind of custom ui here so the rom flies actually so as you can see it is pretty smooth and it works pretty well also the ram management is quite good only issue with this rom is that we are not getting any kind of customization option and safety net and also like google photos unlimited storage which is quite useful and that is not available but as far as experience goes this is quite good rom and it is perfectly usable rom so the rom link will be in the description below if you want to try this rom you can try it quite good rom and that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one